morning. Here I am in the wonderfully named Cossop Dingle, which is just outside of Hay on Wye. And the uh, plan is to um, spend a day in the Brecon Beacons. Uh, no, a day in the Black Mountains. Um, and um, yeah, it's, uh, this is a walk out of a guidebook. I've wanted to, wanted to pick a nice day to do this for a long time. And uh, today's, uh, today's smashing in a period of long hot weather at the moment. And um, yeah, so you've got this, uh, this lane and uh, up onto Hay Bluff and um, another wonderful name, Lord Hereford's Knob, with all of the uh, <laughs> innuendo that that suggests. And uh, then I'm going to come down and uh, back into uh, Hay on Wye. So uh, it should be a cracking day. Uh, it's certainly a lovely day at the moment. Uh, anyway. Let's see how we get on. <laughs> You've got to love road signs like that, haven't you? So, up here then, I expect to find all the cars that have gone up here um, that can't turn or park. And so, what are they doing? Just spinning their wheels at the end of the cul de sac? <laughs> they can never come out. <laughs> cottages along this road are called something or other mill. I guess that fast flowing stream there has been used to uh, drive mills various back in the day. view of the uh, Black Mountains. That was just uh, Hay Bluff hoving into sight. Camera can't pick it up, I don't suppose. But there's a paraglider flying up there. When I was into paragliding, uh, very quite briefly, um, I had one of my most enjoyable flights off Hay Bluff. Uh, it was a sharp, bright winter's day. Very little wind, but just enough blowing up the hill to uh, to indulge in some uh, some lovely ridge soaring. And uh, yeah, yeah, what a day that was. Um, superb. I bet he's enjoying himself now. Ah, view behind is just starting to open up. Views over uh, to the north to uh, San Bedra Hill and those kind of places. Good mountain biking country that is. Maybe a little short bit of uh, road walking here. Well, up into open country now, and uh, 
I'm all right, I've had to break out the buff. Um, otherwise it's uh, fried head time. Okay, well there's no real uh, way up there, there's a bridle way comes up from the right. But I'm just inclined to go straight up. Mind you, if I go up from here, I'll pick up the bridle way about halfway up. So that's the plan. <laughs> carries on at uh, um, south and eventually gets to the top of the hill whereas what I want to do is to uh, go on the top of the hill kind of as soon as possible really because I'm going to be turning right so I've wandered up this gully stroke sheep track August heather time views are out and I reckon I should be hitting the path very soon. a uh, paragliding school to me. These are all beginners wings and there's lots of people giving instruction. <laughs> I remember all that. Fantastic. The perils of ground handling. When you learn it, when, you, when you're a paraglider pilot you've got to spend a lot of time ground handling. That's how you get used to uh, handling the, the wing. And uh, when you get in the air, everything's an awful lot easier. Yeah, absolutely brilliant sport. I must admit, it's a bit crowded in the air. That used to terrify me when I did <laughs> when I did a, a little bit that I did. Um, yeah, um, I never really got past the terrified phase. I think if I'd lived in Spain, where you could go flying every day, and I'd have built the skills up, and lost the fear, I'd have been all right. But in Britain. Um, conditions are so rare, you never get out, so you just stay, you stay consciously incompetent, which is about where I was. But uh, it is a brilliant sport, though. Well, in all that excitement, I quite forgot about how nice the scenery is. And uh, the hill, the picture just there is um, the, uh, the wonderfully named Lord Hereford's Knob. Um, so I'm going to be eating my lunch on there, on his knob. That's what's different, isn't it? Yeah, the hangies are out as well. Um, yeah, this is, a hang, this is a hang glider launch spot here. Um, they have them kind of allocated to clubs, to flying clubs, and um, yeah, you need uh, stronger winds for uh, um, hang gliders, so you get it whistling around this gospel path here. So uh, yeah, it didn't feel so strong enough for a hang glider. Uh, but yeah, up the top there, it felt a little bit too strong for a paraglider, but clearly not. <laughs> Probably too strong for me. I used to be scared stiff of it. <laughs>
Yep, I need to buy myself an e-bike. Oh, no such assistance for me. So it's puff, puff, puff up here to uh, Lord Hereford's. Yeah, you've got to avoid uh, the same updraft that's uh, powering those paragliders. So uh, I'm coming on the side of the hill facing kind of south over the vast tract of moorland that is the Black Mountains uh, to have some lunch. It's bloody lovely today. Really nice. Anyway, lunch. Off, down off the hill now and uh, well and truly in the bracken band um, so the plan is to skirt round the bottom of the hills and pick up the offers dike path and um, follow that down to Hay on Wye and uh, it's a lot warmer down here uh, but still a bit of a breeze which is very nice so yeah have an absolutely beautiful day so I'm just gonna chill out and enjoy all this Dyke path, and that's the final stretch all the way back to uh, Hay on Y. Pay on Y down there, and uh, yeah, we're just losing height quite quickly now. And uh, yeah, so not far to go now. Um, so yeah, what a corker of a day! Absolutely lovely summer day in the uh, Black Mountains. Everybody's out today paragliders, mountain bikers, walkers. Fantastic. Uh, so anyway, I have to watch where I'm going here. <laughs> um, so anyway, I uh, Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and uh, thanks for watching, catch you in the next one. <laughs>